Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Heroine's Quest. All right, so we finally purchased a scarf. Uh, we should probably go find uh, Hervor. I guess we could go talk to Voland. Not sure if it's necessary or really worthwhile to buy the other weapons. Um, I mean, probably is, sort of, since I am a warrior. Can I, can I have it? There's nothing important there. Nope, I can't look at the uh, the bent weapon. I want to look at the bent weapon. All right. Well, anyway, um, I found something. That is my son's sword. Where did you find that? I, I murdered him. I mean, well, he would never leave his sword willingly. Take it to Orvindel. Maybe he can locate Jaime with it. I already did. Keep this brief. I have to find my son. Well, I know where your son is. Um. I would like to learn about Svartalfheim. I would like to learn about Svartalfheim. I have heard tales of the Svartalfar, but I prefer my own metalcraft to their illusory tinker work. Oh, still harsh. Do not doubt that they are real. Only a fool would claim that Svartalfheim is but a myth. It's only a model. Uh, okay. Let us speak later. I don't have let the money me know to if buy you anything. Have any news of Jaime? I do, but you won't let me tell you. Alrighty, well, uh, let's go see if we can find Hervor. What do you plan on doing with that? Smacking you. It is a sad day when my citizens can just disappear from the forest. I should get my troops together and comb Jan Vidir for the blacksmith's son. You should, but you won't find him. I can't talk to myself. Actually, kind of surprised that they uh, didn't put that mechanic in from uh, the Quest for Glory games. I cannot speak now. My son has disappeared. Orvindel tells me that Jaime is in Svartalfheim. I will go there and look for him. Because I'm a heroine. Thank you so much. We eagerly await your return. You just join the party. Jaime's sword. Something happened to him. I knew it. He's fine, though. Orvindel must help. Bring him the sword so his spell can find Jaime. His his spell. His lone single spell. Alright. Well, I already have. Um, is uh, Lithrasir around? I, don't think, I think it's too early for me to go in. But we shall try. Oh, it's not. All right. It's too early for anyone to be here, though. Hervor is really upset that Jaime has disappeared. I hope the boy is found soon. He went into the forest one night and has not returned. We fear there may be evil trolls at work. As opposed to good trolls. Um, I would like to learn about Svartalfheim. I would like to learn about Svartalfheim. Well, so would I. Sorry, but I cannot help you there. Well, poop. I wish you good health. Be careful out there. Yanvadir is dangerous, and the winter is cold. Yeah, I'm more dangerous, and I'm more cold. Wait. All right, well, uh, let's go to the other town. Hi, bird. Alright, we'll see if we get into any combats. I'm not sure if you can ever get, like, more roots out of this. But, wow, two endurance. One endurance. Totally gonna keep clicking here for a little bit. Okay. Okay. Looks like it's not going to give me any more for a little bit. Let's go south. Okay. Um. Oh. Jaime's portrait is there. 
interesting. So we haven't been there. We haven't been here. Or there. Uh, I'll wait for going that way. But we haven't gone all, you know, anywhere over here. So we should do that now. Let's go to the uh, target range. And then we'll head straight south. Uh. Uhura? You've never learned the Frikanon language, so conversing is not a realistic option here. A woman, seriously underdressed for this particular weather, is practicing her spear arm on the archery target. I didn't know I had the silly clowns turned on. Well, not learning the Frikanon language is definitely a, uh, a, a significant oversight. Definitely a significant oversight. Alright, let's head over this way. So we can reveal what's here. And it is just another map section. I think that's everything on this section of the map. Everything look I don't see any, any hard edges. Uh, of course, except for that stuff. But we're not going to do that yet. I do have an ice pick. Hi, bunny. You get no response. Maybe if you made some kind of magical cookie to stick in your ears. Oh, once more animal can. Alright. Up we go. Let's go over here. Can I use my ice pick? You hack at the ice, but the cold morning has made it too thick and too hard for you to get it through. All right. I need to wait for midday then. All right. So we need to come back here at midday. Okie dokie. Dang it. How close is it to midday? Well, let's just wait for it to be midday. Oh, no moose for me to talk to. There it is. It's midday. Oh, I am hungry, though. Good question is, how long can I go before I, I die? Can I go until the evening? Then I can just go back to uh, um, the town whose name I'm I'm forgetting. All right, let's try it now. There we go. <laughs> you hack away at the ice until you uncover a dark red gemstone. You take it with you. That was that was amu amusing. That was amusing. Gemstone, a bright red gemstone. It looks valuable. It weighs one merker. It's probably not valuable. It's just a g red gemstone. It doesn't even glow. I could use another fight with a Varl. Varg. Not a Varl, a Varg. Varls are in a different game. In a different game. Wow, plus three animal can. Maybe I just did it too, too quickly. Plus four, there we go. Yeah. Okay, I think the game has decided to not give me any more. <laughs> I'm terrible. <coughs> mm. Sorry about that. 
holds are terrible, aren't they? I was kind of thinking, thinking about it, uh, discussing it after uh, um, the uh, Spelljammer session on Sunday, that uh, if you really think about it, the best, you know, like, real world, the best effect of uh, being a paladin is that immunity to disease, because that includes the common cold. Just imagine never having to get the common cold. Right, well, we're just doing a little bit of exploring. I'm low on stamina, unfortunately. Right, so that's just a dead end. Actually, my stamina is going up. I'm not actually cold. Maybe because it's midday. I mean, I am hungry, but... That would... Oh, hi! This place seems fine, right? You see a pool of black, stagnant water. It smells badly, and you have the feeling that something unseen lurks beneath the surface. There appears to be solid ground further to the east. A nasty variety of plant grows in the swamp. It is covered in thorns and appears to be poisonous. Best stay away from it. Oh, it would be fine, right? This area of the, s the forest has degraded into a dismal, festering swamp. Flies buzz through the air. Really? In, in the Fimblevinter? And the stench of decay lies heavily up around you. This area is slightly less cold than the forest around it, but still unpleasantly chilly. Well, what's the worst that could happen, right? Your soul rests in Niflheim. What a great day to take a mud bath! I know, that's what I thought! And the game decided to say no to that. You sincerely don't want to put your hands in the swamp water. Well, swamp water could be useful. Can I... Where are my... There are my flasks. You can't put the swamp in the flask. But I could put swamp water! There's not enough le left of this tree to climb. You have little trouble climbing up. Oh. So that's something else... That, somewhere else that I could do some climbing. Okay. All right, well, I don't know if there's anything that we can do there yet. Uh, but I will try to keep that in mind. Save my food for uh, emergency situations. Whoops, clicked off the window. Doesn't look like there's anything I can do over there. Yep, this is the edge of the map. Oh, hi, little snowman. Oh, I don't want to add something. I want to take the carrot. Silly game. Oh, hello. An oddly shaped pile of stones rests in the center of the clearing. It's a stump. It looks solid, but you'd bet that if you tied if you tie a rope to it, it would tear right out of the ground. The many beautiful trees bring a sense of peace to this forest. Well, except for the wandering trolls and vargs, obviously. This poor tree is pining away for the lack of sunshine throughout the Fimble Winter. But is it pining for the fjords? You examine the rocks, but see nothing special. You poke the rocks, and unsurprisingly, nothing happens. You're disappointed to find there's no treasure inside the stump. In fact, there's nothing at all inside the, set, the stump. Bummer! I know, right? A little trouble climbing up the tree. It doesn't do me any good. This appears to be a small mugwort plant growing amidst the rocks. Can I take it? You try to dig out the roots of the plant, but with your bare hands, this proves useless. Ah, I need something else to dig. All right, well, now I know where the mugwort plant is, at least. So there is that. Well, 
I'll say that it's kind of a shame that you can't click on the map and just have the uh, have your character automatically walk there. Well, I haven't died from lack of food yet. Hello, little animal. It is afternoon. I will also say that I am slightly disappointed by the lack of uh, monsters. Oh! Well. Hi there. A ring of fire flickers ceaselessly just within the crystal circle. The total lack of flammable material does not hamper the flames in the slightest. Well, it looks like we've gone down, down, down to a burning ring of fire. You find yourself secluded within a ring of trees curving inward. Between the trees, a group of jagged crystals form an eldritch barrier. You sense a mystical aura coming from the crystals. They form a circle as if to protect something inside, or to protect from something inside. Can't seem to look at the person who... Oh, there we go. A strong-looking woman appears to be asleep in the middle of a circle of flame. There is obviously some enchantment at work here. Well, that wasn't exactly what I intended to click on, but uh, my strength is up to 47, willpower is up to 20, animal ken is up to 36, climbing is up to 16, I need to work on that. And I got 72 points. I actually wanted to save. Against your better judgment, you reach out to grasp the flickering fire. Seems fine. Your soul rests in Niflheim. You did wish for a warmer climate to hero around in, but this is too much. There's nothing important there. I'm, I'm just trying to grope the lady. Come on, game. Let me grope the lady. You cannot reach her through the flaming barrier. What if I uh, push over one of these crystals? The crystals are sharp and vibrate slightly from an internal humming sound. My, aren't you aggressive today? Yes. Yes. She does not respond. Don't you have a... Don't you love making little holes in everything? You do have a world to save first, though. I, I do actually like... making little holes in everything. Okay, well, I am kind of guessing that there's not a whole lot that we can do with this just yet. But that would appear to be the entire map, except for this part down here, explored. It is a new day, so let's go see if we can catch some more fish. Hopefully before it turns night. Hopefully before we die of hunger. But I have saved it. Hopefully we'll get into a combat. Yeah, it's nice that uh, midday and afternoon, uh, I'm now warm enough that uh, I actually recover stamina during the day. So that is pretty nice. Caught yourself a tasty fish. Let's go for another one. Yes, I won't be biting any more today. You may have a better chance tomorrow. Oh, uh, maybe I can only get one per day now. Stamina is fully replenished. What if I cast... not that. Flame Aura. No? No? Alright, fine. We won't do that anymore. Maybe later. Let's avoid the hole and click off the... whoops, sorry about that. 
Not only did I click off the game, I clicked to a different uh, uh, scene in OBS. Apologize for that. The mouse does not lock into the window in this game. Genuinely surprised at the lack of uh, monsters. Especially considering all the ones that we encountered uh, <laughs> early on. It was just like, all the time. Alright, well, let's go ahead and... Head in here. Yeah, there we go. Let's get some more Animal Ken. Oh, look at, all, look at all the animal can. There we go. <laughs> I like it. Most of these trinkets will not be useful for a traveler like you. But perhaps the vase would be useful for you to carry things around. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, can I get that for six? Frankly, I think your offer is an insult to my trade. Oh, come on. It's like... Like, you're asking seven, and like, uh, can I get it for six? I'm a little bit poor. I Fine. agree to your offer, so let us conclude our transaction. It's not like I offered one. Yoink. All right, can I get... But of course, any adventurer needs a shovel. Yes, After I do. After all, you never know when you'll come across a buried treasure. Or mugwort. Fifteen. What about, uh, Fourteen. I agree to your offer. Sweet. So let us conclude our transaction. Thank you. I will save a save one. That works for me. Uh, could I use some flour? No. Guaranteed to stay fresh all through the winter. These trail rations are all a traveler needs for a long journey. All right, that is just spim for nine each. No. What about apples? Have a delicious taste of autumn with these apples remaining from our last harvest. Eh. Nah. Alright, do you have Welcome anything else? Back, traveler. I was worried that a lone woman like yourself would not make it back. I do not intend to leave town before spring myself. It's perfectly safe out there. Have you heard of Svartalfheim? Have you heard of Svartalfheim? Some say it is myth, but I know it is real. Such marvelous crafts they have, even if some of it melts in the sunshine. I know that Thor, Wormsbane, and Loki the Sly have traveled there frequently, and the Swartalfar have crafted them many wondrous treasures. The mighty hammer Mjolnir comes from Swartalfheim, as does the golden hair of Sif. It is said that Loki the god's chief go wagered his own head against the Swartalfar claiming that they could not forge hair of gold that would grow just like normal hair. But a crafty elf named Andvari made the hair, to the surprise of all the Aesir. And so the Swartalfar demanded Loki's head, as was their agreement. I thought that was a gear. And crafty Loki responded that he had wagered his head, but not his neck. So if the Swartalfar could take his head without harming the neck, they were welcome to it. And then he ran away grinning and left them baffled. There are more tales, but travelers from Svartalfheim are rare, and I doubt they are human like you and I. Humans are rarely welcome there. Yeah, they'll welcome me. I'd like to buy some of your wares. I would like to buy some of your wares. Just look around if you see something you like, and we can talk about the price. Okay. I bid you farewell. It was nice to speak with you. I hope you will stay in Minarvagir with us. Yarnvadir is not safe for one woman by herself. It's perfectly safe. I can take out Vargs and everything in one hit, in two hits. Nothing happens when you touch the spices. I want some spices. Okay. No, I guess that's all. I got a shovel though. Uh, what time is it? It is afternoon. Let's be risky. Got some more strength. And let's go see if we can get the mugwort.
That is going to be a, a fair bit. But well, we got a shovel now, so... I don't know what we're going to do with the vase. Oh, hi! Been wondering when we'd uh, see one of you guys. Alright, let me, let me just get into position. And then I'll let you get into position. And it'll be okay, right? Alright? Alright, I'm ready. Alright, let's go! Alright, a few more than two hits. I got some agility. Check your bum. Searching the body, you find a bottle of mead, which you probably used to forget about his sorrows. I guess it's okay. I mean, I'm sure the mead will be useful at some point. Right, that's the swamp. I may be able to go take on a troll now. I should go out wandering at night one of these nights. Because I do need to kill some of those uh, night enemies. They sometimes have goodies. I like that snowman. It is cute. On the other hand, it's also a shame that I can't knock it over like in Dragon Quest XI. Alright, let's go ahead and do a little shoveling. You dig out the roots of the plant and take them with you. They have an odd smell to them. It is now evening. Let's get more animal Ken. Yes, animal Ken plus seven. It's kind of cheesy that you can do it this way, but... Alright. That's about all I'm going to get. So let's see, every serious adventure needs a shovel at some point. It weighs 8 Merker. This bottle contains sweet smelling but strong liquor. You carry two of these. Together they weigh 6 Merker. Got my raw fish. Got my mugwort herbs. You found some mugwort herbs. They weigh 1 Merker. Where's the vase? Ah, there's the vase. A simple clay vase. It weighs three Merker. Well, I may get my wish. Uh, unfortunately, my uh, stamina is not what I would like, although it's going up. Hello, little fox. Well, alright, guess we're getting into a battle. Nice. Can I get a point for that? Some agility and some faint as well, and a little bit of strength. With the magic sustaining its animation dissipated, the corpse crumbles into dust. Ow. Just one goodies. Okay, we can definitely uh, take on those things now. All the strength that I've been gaining has helped quite a bit. Right, I need to climb over the wall, don't I? You definitely scramble up the village wall. Welcome back, traveler. I'd like to learn about Svartalfheim. I would like to learn about Svartalfheim. Yes, I am familiar with Svartalfheim. Is there anything you wish to know about it? How do I get there? How do I get to Svartalfheim? How can I get to Svartalfheim? I can tell you this. You must start by touching the third stone, followed by the sixth. Then press the first, fourth, and fifth. You finish by putting your palm against the second. Huh. What? Precisely. Remember it. I hate you, man. 
All right. I wish you good health. Happy adventuring. Please come back when you have more good stories to share. Yeah, I'll give you a good story. Who's your good puppy? Who's your good puppy who's going to let me talk to him constantly and get more animal can? And willpower, apparently. Uh, you open? Nope. Alright. Oh, hey. Yes, I am listening. Uh, do you have a book about Svartalfheim? Do you have a book about Svartalfheim? Well, it is presently loaned out, I think. I'll poop. I'm sure I have the card in my filing system somewhere. But I do remember this. There is a gate to Svartalfheim somewhere. If you seek to open it, you must always walk clockwise. Do not walk counterclockwise, for it will undo your work. Do you understand me? No walking Widdishins. <laughs> nice word, is it not? Widdishins. I like it a lot. It's it's not a bad word. Good day to you. Oh, it is very much so. And I wish you the same. Why, thank you. Well, you're out. Nothing happens. You suppose that the lodge has changed its system after you found them out. Aww. I guess because I didn't uh, join. I wonder if Kraka will actually show up around town. Still. Well, no, I'm pretty sure I saw her after. Let's head down here. Back on the uh, walk icon. Let's see if there's people inside here. There tend to be. Good there you are. You. I hope your travels keep you safe. But if not, I may be able to help you with a potion or two. Yeah, I don't have the money for that. I'd like to learn about uh, Svartalfheim. I would like to learn about Svartalfheim. Svartalfheim. No, I cannot help you there. I like it here at Midgard. So I've never paid much attention to tales about the other worlds. Well, that's not very imaginative. Uh... Didn't he say that he was also looking for some herbs? I would like to buy... If you'd like to buy an Alexa... I would like... If you'd like... Oh, that just m turned it white. Do you know... Yes. I do not have enough to sell you. But you should be able to find some in an open, rocky area. Okay. What can I- Yon is all around us. To be honest, I do not like to venture far- The good thing about trolls is that they are as dumb as a brick. They are very easy to outwit, and may even overlook you if you are quiet enough. That's good to know. Um... Hmm... Oh, well. I wish you good health. Stay in Monavigir as long as you like. It is better here than in the forest. All right. Good day, traveler. What would you speak of? Uh, have you heard of Svartalfheim? Have you heard of Svartalfheim? I concern myself with this world, not the others. Well, that's You are welcome silly. to talk to me. I know a thing or two about the subject. I already talked to you about it. What can you tell me of the forest? What can you tell me of the forest? The endless trees of Yanvidir are dangerous to the unwary. Uh, how does one fight the undead? How does one fight the undead? The walking dead have been marauding Yanvidir ever since the fell winter started. They trouble Fawnsik Chuna more than us for some reason. The common drag is a nuisance. What they lack in skill, they make up for in stamina. A drag does not know when it is defeated, and will keep fighting until sliced apart. Yeah, it makes Be sense. Be alert in which direction they are attacking. If they strike left, dodge right, and vice versa. Dodging sideways is faster than ducking backwards, but not if you choose the wrong direction. Should you meet a spectral hogbui, beware. They employ fell magic at a knot to be taken lightly. Nah, I can take one. Wish I can't. Um, well, I don't know if I can or not, but uh, eventually we will try it. Uh, do you have a meal for me? Do you have a meal for me? 
I do not have time to prepare a meal for you now. I wish you good health. Travel safely, stranger. All right, well, that is a little disappointing. Maybe we can just go to bed and uh, get something in the morning. I should probably save it before that, just to be on the safe side. You were too hungry to go to sleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course. Alright, let's wait for everyone to leave then. Maybe that'll do it. Is he just not going to serve me this late at night? The kitchen is my domain. Please stay out of it. No. All right, fine. You know what? I'm going to... I saved it already. Let's go pop out into the... Uh... Actually, you know what I could do? Didn't kill me. Will you let me r wait an hour in here? You will? Okay, there goes Liff. It's midnight. just vanished. Let's wait for him to, to get up so we can actually sit in the chair. Unless, of course... Uh, 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 uh. Good day, Traveler. Uh, do you have a meal do for me? Do you have a meal for me? I do not have time to prepare a meal for you now. Dang it! I wish you good... Travel safely. Well, alright. I guess we need to come here... Uh, before everyone gets here to uh, have some drinks. He doesn't seem to actually, like, care if you uh, are really hungry. He just won't let you sleep. It's late night. Okay, now I am getting... I, I see my stamina bar there. Looks like it will start uh, harming me if I don't eat. What we're testing. This is, this is experimentation here now. I mean, I'm not exerting myself. And I'm not outside. Morning! There we go. Good day, traveler. Do you have a meal for do me? Do you have a meal for me? I do. I shall serve you a fine stuffed duck. Hmm. As we agreed, you shall have my hospitality for free. Well, you didn't give me anything yesterday, last night. Hungry as you are, you quickly devour the food. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, okay, now I am tired. Great. That was certainly one of the best meals you've had in a long time. I wish you good health. Travel safe. All right, well, I'm hungry again. Good day, traveler. What would you... I wish you good nope. travel safe. Nope, you won't let me. Okay, so uh, the the game the game knows how to uh, um, foil your plans to uh, get nothing but free food. Not gonna let me sleep, are you? Too hungry to go to sleep. All right, all right, fine. <sighs> what do I want to eat? I'll eat fish. Yum 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 yum. 
Oh no, you just ate the fish. Bet you didn't know that you would need it for a difficult puzzle five hours later in the game. Well, I guess you'll have to restart now. Sorry, that's the rule. Nah, just kidding. It was just a tasty fish, and you could get another one if you really wanted to. Sleep until nightfall. You lie down in the warm bed and quickly fall asleep. Am I going to be hungry again? No, I'm going to sleep until dawn. Let's go blow through a couple days. Alright, well, we are good. Uh, let's see if we can uh, go down and get some free food, and then we'll uh, call it an episode. Good day, traveler. Do you have a meal for do me? Do you have a meal for me? I do. The dish for today is vegetable pie. Mm. As we agreed, you shall have... Could you put a little meat in the pie? I'd much rather have a... Uh, a meat pie than a vegetable pie. I mean, I'm not gonna not eat it. That does not look like vegetable pie. Nom, 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 nom. Just shovel it in there. That was certainly one of the best meals you've had in a long time. Thank you. Okie dokie. I wish you good health. Travel safely, stranger. All right. Well, uh, we will go ahead and save the game. When we come back next time, uh, we will go do other things. Not sure exactly what yet. Uh, obviously, we need to uh, save uh, Jaime. But um, I would kind of like to fight some more things. There's still a lot of things that I would like to buy, and I do not have the money to buy them yet. I don't know if... Uh, I just exhausted the uh, the gambling cash for the day, or if I've permanently exhausted gambling cash for the game. Uh, we may find out uh, in the next episode. But that will be later. See you then, everyone.